Hello there! This is an astrological forecast for Taurus for February of 2012 and this also applies if you have a Taurus ascendant. So my Taurians, Mars, the planet of action and energy, is retrograde all month until April 14th. This happens every two years and two months and it's in your fifth house, the fifth house of creativity. So it's very important now for you to reflect on your creativity. Are you doing things in your life that are fun? Really think about that. And where are you afraid of taking risks? Where are you frightened? Where are you not really um, moving forward? And yes, I have to remind you that Jupiter is in your sign until June of this year. So you must take advantage of this, of any kind of opportunities and really think about what risks are you avoiding and why? Because during the Mars retrograde, this is really a time to think about your business if you own your own business, um, a time to think about your hobbies, the things that you enjoy doing, also a time to reflect about your children. And if you don't have children, to reflect about the child within you, because we've all got a child within um, that maybe doesn't get enough attention and enough pleasure and enough fun. So it's time to really reflect on what gives you pleasure. What do you really enjoy doing? And think about it and research it during the retrograde. And when it goes direct, Taurus, be ready to take action. Very important that you take action when it goes direct, and that will be after April the 14th. Also happening this month is a big change, which is a shift of a move from Neptune moving in out of Aquarius into Pisces. So moving from your 10th to your 11th house. So I think what you're going to see is um, a greater ability to tune into other people, to tune into other people's needs, and also maybe more of a desire for you to contribute to your community, to the people around you in some way. And also you'll be able to get clearer visions of what it is that you want to create. Um, We've got a lot happening this month in your 10th house, so there is certainly a light being shone in your house of career this month. Um, if you want to achieve something in your career, particularly this first week is very good because we have the Sun conjunct Mercury in that house, which is a wonderful time for good communications. It's very good for creating plans for your future career. Um, you'll probably feel a little bit restless in this first week. So if you are able to move around or get out of the office or get out and about, it'll be very good. But it's going to be certainly good for coming up with new ideas in your work area, particularly that first week. Now, the second week is quite different because we have Mercury conjunct Neptune in your 11th house. Now, Neptune tends to fog the thinking process, and Mercury is the thinking process. So it's going to be very good for anything in that artistic uh, field, which, we, which it would be great for, but not so wonderful as far as communications are concerned. You may find that you're misunderstood, even though you think you've been really clear. And this could happen with friends and people with whom you work on a team. And um, also, um, as far as your dreams are concerned, this will be a great time for your dreams, for what you're hoping for, great. But you may find that somebody is not altogether honest with you um, or that they're, they're trying to pull the wool over your eyes. So you may need to just be careful about that in the second week of this month. The third week of this month, we've got the Sun conjunct Neptune in that 11th house. So this would be a wonderful time to do something for other people just something where you can be of help. And you may find that you're helping a friend, doing something for a friend in need. They, they need a little bit of helping out and you're able to do it during this time. It's also a very good time for communicating any visions that you've got, anything that you see for the future. It's a good time to tune into what it is that you're seeing for the future. Um, we've got Venus for summer this month, towards the end of the month, into your 12th house, along with Uranus. So I wouldn't be surprised if somebody from your past comes back into your life. Could be a lover or a loved one or somebody just that you've maybe not seen for a long time, all of a sudden comes back into your life. Could be a physical coming back or just a remembrance 
of a person that triggers something inside of you. Um, what else do I have? Yes, we've still got Saturn in your sixth house, of course. So, and with the Mars retrograde, I wouldn't be surprised if your energy levels are a little bit lower this month. So try not to scatter your energies. And remember, during the retrograde, it's a good time to plot a course of action, but not to actually do it until Mars goes direct. So there you have it, my dear Taurians. I wish you a great month, and I thank you for listening. Bye for now.